What is up my Nova Kingdom, it's Nova King back again. And today we're back with another video, but today's video is very different from what I'm usually doing. And I'm a little nervous to try it, but you know what, I've also been kind of excited about recording this, so we're just going to jump in and see what see what happens and see how, how good I am in assessing things. So today, we're doing a versus battle, right? Now, I've never been really that great at power scaling in anime, but we're going to see what I can do here. And today we're taking two of the biggest shonen heavyweights and setting them against each other. And that would be Deku from My Hero Academia. And we're going to put him against Kid Naruto from Part 1 Naruto. Um, because now I, I'm not taking like Shippuden and Naruto because I think that'd be pretty obvious. I think we're going to know who's going to win that fight. But I think Kid Naruto, like end of Naruto Part 1 uh, Naruto versus like end of Season 3 Deku. I think that'd be pretty interesting to see. Um, now, before, now to, to get into this whole thing, we're gonna assess each character and what they what they kind of bring to the table as far as this fight goes. I guess we'll start off with Deku, and at this point in the show, Deku has uh, mastered full uh, has full cowling, so he's not gonna be just throwing out huge like 100% smashes. It's gonna break his arm, and so it, it'll it'll basically put him in the in the, in the fight for a, for much much longer. Uh, which is always, which will put him at a pretty big advantage because it'll give him time to strategize, which is something that Deku is pretty good at. Um, the other thing we can look at, really, that's that's one of the that's probably the biggest thing that we've got with Deku, honestly. That's his biggest progression. That and shoot style as well, which will give him better range and things like that, and he can fight from a better range than I think Naruto could. Um, so those are the big things that we have for for Deku, kind of going into this fight, and. I mean, again, even with 5%, which is kind of like his, his, uh, kind of where he's at, like, I think it was like, um, like 5 to 8% smash, like, that's what he can kind of master and control right now. And don't get me wrong, those aren't, like, weak by any means. Like, that's still a pretty hard hit, and I mean, I would say physically, well, like, just straight physically wise, I'd say that Deku is stronger than this part one Naruto and faster. Um, with just base Naruto, but that's there's kind of a lot more that goes into this fight because of the t uh, the 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 kind of strategy that Naruto can bring to this fight, and so with that we'll go to Naruto and uh, we'll kind of assess what he can do, and so with Naruto the big thing you're gonna see with this Naruto is lots of clones. Naruto has ridiculous amounts of chakra and can fight for a pretty long time and can just dish out lots of punishment because of this large amount of chakra. Um, we're gonna see lots of shadow clones, and at this point he can use Rasengan, so we're gonna see the Rasengans, which, uh, pretty, pretty devastating move. Um, the other big thing too would be at this point, Naruto has learned to kind of pull out small amounts of the Nine Tails Chakra, and I think with this, um, now, this is kind of like a last resort thing, I think that Naruto would have to be pushed pretty far to have to do this, especially with his large amounts of Chakra, he doesn't, he's not gonna really need to pull from the Nine Tails a whole lot, I feel like, but... If need be, if he starts getting into like, you know, nine tails chakra, and even for some reason get, goes into his one tail form, I think it's pretty, I think that, that Naruto surpasses Deku as far as like speed and strength goes, or at least rivals him. But I don't think we're going to get, I don't think Naruto's going to get that far, I don't think he's going to be pushed far enough to turn into the one tail, uh, cloak, to get the one tail cloak. But I think if he did, it would be pretty cool, I think Naruto would have the bigger advantage. Um, but even taking away the Nine Tails Chakra, I still think um, that, that I mean that still doesn't like rule out Naruto because again he has lots of stamina, lots of chakra, lots of clones that he can pump out and Rasengan um, all, as well. Also, he can also sam uh, salmon <laughs> salmon. <laughs> he can also summon Gamabunta, um, which is no joke. I think Gamabunta. I don't think Deku's gonna be able to do much against that. I mean, even, I think even if he resorted to like using a hundred percent smash I mean I, I don't think that's gonna like knock out Gamma Boonza like by any means so and then Deku's down in arms so I think um, so that's kinda what we're looking at for Naruto he's got just clones or Sengon, Nine Tails Chakra if he needs to and if he's pushed that far and Gamma Boonza I feel like the Nine Tails Chakra and Gamma Boonza are like last resort though and it's kinda hard to see how those would actually play out but if he could pull that stuff off but so to the fight itself and how I think it's gonna go, I think uh, Naruto, of course, being the way he is, is gonna pump out a lot of clones to start the fight off with. 
and I think very quickly he'll realize how fast and strong Deku is from him fighting the clones. So, because I, I mean, again, I think if, if Naruto gets caught in a combo from Deku, it's not going to be good. Like, Deku 5%, you know, cowling isn't, like, a joke by any means, but I don't think that if he, I mean, I don't think it's going to be, like, as soon as he makes contact, Naruto's done, though. Like, we've seen Naruto take some punishment and get back from it. Um, so I think he could even get caught in a 5% combo and still be okay. I mean, it's not going to, you know, he's going to take some damage, but I think he can still fight. Um, but that's even assuming that Deku can get to the real Naruto. I feel like Deku's going to spend a lot of time fighting clones uh, for a good while. And that'll give Naruto time to assess the situation and kind of realize, okay, I cannot get hit by this guy, and he's pretty fast. Like, I think speed-wise, Deku does have the advantage because of, uh, because of all, um, uh, one for all. And that's, uh, that is going to put uh, Naruto at a slight disadvantage. But again, I think with just I think the Deku will be bombarded by clones, and that'll give Naruto a chance to kind of uh, pull out some pull out some pretty devastating attacks. I mean, as far as like the the fight goes, um, stamina wise, like I said, I think Naruto has the better stamina and the better chalk. You know, he has a lot of chakra. I think he'll be able to stay in this fight longer. So I think just with clones alone and things like that, I think he'll be able to wear Deku down to where he's gonna start getting tired and not going to be able to use his powers as, as much. He's going to start to slip up more. And this is where Naruto can kind of uh, sneak in with a Rasengan or something. And I think Rasengan, like a well put Rasengan or two, is going to knock Deku out. Like Deku, like again, Deku's not a joke. He's like, he, you know, he's got determination too. And he, you know, he's not just going to give up. But Rasengan ain't nothing to fool with, you know. Hitting, getting hit with one of those is going to put you out for the count, I feel like. So, He's only going to be able to take like one or two Rasengan's, and I feel like with the amount of clones that'll be pressuring Deku, I feel like, um, I feel like that's something Naruto could pull off. Just because I mean, I think it'll just be kind of a uh, back and forth, just Deku fighting all sorts of clones trying to find the real Naruto, and with just the amount of stamina and chakra that Naruto has, I think he'll be able to keep Deku at bay with clones long enough for him to find an opening to hit him with a Rasengan. Now, if he hits him with the Rasengan and he's like, he's like badly hurt, but he's still going to fight, and he knows that he's being pushed to his limits, Deku might be trying, uh, uh, be trying to use more percentage of uh, one for all. Um, with this, it's kind of hard to tell because again, with clones, I mean, I don't think Deku would even try that because if Deku, you know, pulls out a 100%, you know, smash, yeah, it could take out Naruto, but. Deku's smart, he's not gonna like throw that out at a clone. Like if he hits a clone, he's gonna break his arm for nothing. So I feel like him using those kind of like high you know impact 100 percent smashes is kind of out of the option uh, kind of out of the question, because I think Deku's smarter than that. He's not gonna just you know willingly go out there and risk his arm if he knows he's not gonna if there's a chance he's not hitting the real Naruto. And so I think that kind of rule all that out. So the only thing that he really has is like shoot style and Again, that does put him at a better range advantage, but Naruto still can hit from a range as well with like kunai, uh, shuriken, uh, the giant shuriken jutsu. There's a lot of things you can kind of toss out at, at, at Deku too to kind of put pressure on him. And I just, again, I feel like no matter how much punishment Deku is going to put out, I just don't think he's going to find the real Naruto. Like we've seen Naruto pump out a lot of clones, even as a kid. Like in the first episode, like when he was defending Aruka Sensei. He pumped out a whole like, like a lot, like a whole forest worth of clones. Um, not to mention the clones he used against like uh, Kimimaru, Kimimaru. So I mean, we already know that he can use these amount of clones as a kid, and I think he's just gonna put too much pressure on Deku. And so, I honestly think Naruto's just gonna wear him down. I think it's gonna be like a fight. It's just gonna be a stamina battle, and Naruto's gonna win and eventually wear Deku down, hit him with a couple of Rasengans, and then he's gonna be done. I mean. If if really neat and again that's that's based Naruto. If Naruto really needs to, he still has nine tails chakra. He can kind of tap into it a little bit, but one tail, which I don't think he would even get to at this point, honestly. And if he really is scared that 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 Deku is going to hit him with a stronger smash, and he somehow finds the real Naruto and goes to him with a real smash, like a strong like hundred percent kind of thing, I think that he'd be able to summon Gamma Bunta and Gamma Wunzo will be able to tank that kind of stuff pretty easily. Um, 
Again, that's all that's all depending on how fast he can summon Gamagutsu because Deku is pretty fast and he'd be coming at Naruto pretty quick. But Naruto um, in the fight against Gara whipped out Gamagutsu pretty quick with the summoning jutsu. So I think he'd be able to pull something off like that and he'd be able to to avoid a very crit a very fatal uh, smash attack from Deku just by using uh, Gamabutsu to tank it. Because I don't think uh, Gamabutsu is going to go down with one full, you know, 100% smash. And then Deku is down an arm. So, um, uh, that's, so, I mean, I, it's, again, it's like, Deku is not a slouch by any means, but just where he's at right now, I don't think he's going to be able to keep up with Naruto and find the real Naruto and be able to put enough punishment in to keep him down. I think that Naruto will just wear him down with clones and eventually be able to hit him with Rasengan's or even if, like, by some miracle, Deku does find the real Naruto and goes to him with a stronger smash to end the fight right there, uh, Naruto can summon Gamabuta and things like that. And if he gets hit with that and say, like, I don't know if that kind of, like, 100% smash would kill him, it might, it might kill Naruto. Like, that's, like, that kind of, like, punishment is not something, you know, Naruto can just tank easily. But if he does live from it somehow... Uh, I think that that would kind of be the turning point where he kind of like start to, you know, have to rely on the nine tails and he go into like one cloak mode and it'd be pretty much over for Deku. I feel like so, I can't really see any way of Deku pulling this off. It has to be a real miracle for him to do it, and he has to get really lucky. So, um, I'm gonna go with Na Kid Naruto is gonna take a take this fight, uh, not easily necessarily, but he is going to take the fight. I think. And so, yeah, that's that's kind of my thought on it. If you guys have anything else to add, again, I'm really bad at these kind of like breakdown video, like breakdown fight videos. Um, I've watched my fair amount of Swag Kage, Seth Programmer. I watch a lot of those kind of like videos, but never done one myself. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if I'm dumb or any counter arguments you have or anything like that. And I'll be more than willing to listen and uh, see what we can't figure out here. But that's going to be my stance. I think Kid Donato takes this fight uh, from Deku. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. Let me know what you kind of think about this kind of video because this is very new. Uh, this is very different. I'm just trying to kind of experiment with other kind of anime videos that I can uh, kind of test instead of just doing gaming stuff. So let me know what you, kind of, what you guys think about this kind of video. If you like it, I'll definitely keep thinking of more fights to do. I have another fight in mind already that I might do. So look forward to that. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, until the next video, remember to stay positive. Enjoy life. So only get one shot at it. It's Nova King from the Nova Kingdom. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.